All right, whether this is its own separate video or I decide to include it in the last book haul that I did, I feel like I have some explaining to do. Hi everyone, my name is Erin and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. We're going to be doing a book haul today. This might be an extension of the last book haul I did, but probably not because I have like 20 more books here. So yeah, let's just get started. I've done some shopping obviously, if you will, and it's really getting out of hand. And I know that now, and I'm like done, for real. <laughs> Everybody said that, I always say that. I don't always thought I wasn't gonna buy any books in the month of June. And look at where we are, it's June 10th and I'm filming a book haul. I bought more books, that's, that's all there is. I'm gonna do another book haul until like my birthday, hopefully around then. Um. I do really need to save money, but I wanted to pick up a couple books. I saw some deals. I had a gift card. I couldn't not do it. So we're going to be doing a book haul today. I hope that's okay with you guys. I know I do a lot of them, but I haven't done any this year. So I know there are two back to back, but there are only two. I don't know. That's me trying to justify it. These aren't really going to be in any particular order, but I guess we'll start with the ones that I got today since they're right at the top. The first one that I picked up is For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. I've been seeing this everywhere and it sounds amazing, so I had to pick it up. I think it's like a Red Riding Hood kind of retelling, but I'm not exactly sure. All I know is that basically there are two sisters, essentially. First one um, gets the throne and the second daughter is for the wolf that lives in the woods to appease him and make sure that their kingdom stays safe. So that's really all I know about it. And so far I've heard really good things. It sounds really interesting. I love this cover. Apparently it is a brilliant dark fantasy debut. Let's hope that's true. Then I picked up a romance because I have just been loving romance lately. And this isn't sponsored, but if you guys didn't know, I am the host of a group in the app called Likewise. I host the romance group and so I've been trying to broaden my horizons and read more uh, both of recommendations and also so I can give recommendations to everyone in that group. It's really cool. It's a fun experience and sometimes I host events and I'm pretty sure I'll also be hosting a book club over there. So you should definitely download Likewise, join that room if you're interested. It's a free app. Like I said, this is not sponsored. It's just a really cool opportunity and it's another way for me to interact with you guys, which I love doing. In that scheme of things, I got a book. It's a romance book. Obviously, I have a few for this haul, uh, but my most recent pickup is Neon Gods by Katie Robert. This is a Hades and Persephone retelling, and if you've been following my channel lately, you know I'm obsessed with Hades and Persephone, especially retellings. I loved A Touch of Darkness and A Touch of Ruin. I still need to read A Touch of Malice, I believe, and then A Touch of Chaos comes out next year, but I have also been loving Lore Olympus uh, and just every Hades and Persephone retelling. I have also read a couple of Katie Robert books, and I've enjoyed them pretty well. I think that she's a solid romance author. And Rylan, who was one of my really good friends, um, said that this is her new favorite Katie Robert book. So I had to pick it up. It was the last copy. There were like five and then there was only one. So I needed to get it. And then I picked up a thriller and it's another one of Rylan's favorites of the year. And I think Stasia's as well. And that is Ace of Spades by Farida. Oh, I'm going to butcher this and I am genuinely so sorry, but I'm going to try. Yamide? I'm really, really sorry. I doubt that I pronounced that right, but I did my best. Basically, this is a thriller set in a prep school and it sounds amazing. Also, this is one of my favorite covers like ever. This is amazing. And on the sides, it says, how do you stop an unknown enemy, which I just noticed. And that sounds amazing. So very excited. Uh, when I skimmed the uh, like inside flap, it sounded really good. So Super excited, especially because my friends have been loving this and it sounds incredible. And I've really been liking thrillers lately. I also just realized that I don't have any more room on my thriller shelf for another thriller. I didn't think this through. That's going to be the title of this video. Then we have some more romance because obviously the first one is probably the one that I am the most excited about in this entire haul. And that is From Luke Off With Love by Mariana Zapata. Oh my god. I'm just obsessed. It's my first Mariana Zapata book and I am 76 pages in and it's like five stars already. Um, I will probably put this on my favorites of the year list. It's 
if it continues to go the way that it's going, which I'm hoping it does. It's a figure skating sports romance and it's enemies to lovers and it just sounds so good. Also, this is one of my favorite covers literally ever and so I've been meaning to buy this book forever but it's like $18 because it's 500 pages and independently published and like sport indie authors but it really hurt my bank account but I just decided to do it and honestly, I have no regrets. Then we have Beach Read by Emily Henry, which I am, I had to pick this up for a reading vlog that I am doing this month. Also, I picked up People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry and everyone like raved about this and they both just sound so good. So I had to get them both, especially since I'll be reading this one first. So I'm hoping that if I love this one, I'll just go straight into that one and it'll be a good time. Uh, basically, this is about two writers who are on this, like, week-long writing retreat beach vacation, like, unaffiliated with each other, but they happen to cross paths, and they're both kind of, like, hitting a block, and so they decide to switch genres, and they kind of experiment with each other's, and it sounds really great. I've heard that this also deals with some heavier topics, um, but I am personally excited either way. I love contemporary fiction and I love romance. And so I think seeing a blend of the two will personally really work for me. Then we have some more like thrillers and horror manga and stuff because how could I go through a haul without those? So the first one is Tokyo Ghoul Volume 6 by Sui Ishida. Uh, this is the one that I'm currently reading. I don't have much less left. I'm hoping to finish this tonight. But this is one of my favorite horror manga series. I am hoping to watch the anime really soon, um, but I want to get through a decent amount of this so I don't like spoil myself for everything that happens. But I've just slowly been making my way through this throughout the year and honestly having a really good time doing it. The story is definitely getting more and more complex and I am enjoying getting to know more of the world and all of the different characters that we're being introduced to and all of that stuff. So then if you watched my... um bookstore vlog you would have seen some of these already but I picked up Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth. Like I said if you saw that vlog you would have seen me gush about this. Basically I heard the synopsis and it sounded like my new favorite book. Uh, it's set in like a boarding school where a hundred years after these girls are murdered because they fell in love I believe. Um, the school is said to have a curse on it and so a hundred years after they're murdered these people come and they are doing like a documentary essentially on the curse that is supposedly set upon the school. Um, it sounds very interesting so I'm very excited to read this one. It's also very thick so hopefully I can get to it soon and it won't take me forever to read. Then we have another horror manga that I've been eyeing forever and just didn't really have the stomach to buy it but eventually I just kind of pulled the trigger and did it and that is Ibitsu by Haruto Ryo and this is a horrific retelling of Lolita which I'm very excited to read and I think I'm buddy reading it with Rylan so that is always a good time. And then again from that uh, bookstore vlog, I picked up A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. I've heard amazing things about this and it's also a stunning cover. I've been wanting it since it came out. Um, I remember hearing the plot and it sounding really interesting, but I have since forgotten it and I kind of want to keep myself in the dark so that I can go in blindly, but the sequel comes out for this relatively soon, so I also would like to read it in anticipation for that. Then I have another thriller that I found. It was at Walmart for like $6 and I've heard pretty decent things about it. This was literally cheaper than the paperback that they were selling so I had to get it and that is An Anonymous Girl by Greer, Hendricks, and Sarah Pekinen. I've heard good things about this author duo so I'm hoping that I will like it. Um, if I don't, I only spent $6 on it so I won't be that mad but I don't know what this is about at all. Hopefully it's good. Then I have some young adult actually like one of the only young adult books in this haul, and that is The Downstairs Girl by Stacey Lee. This is set in 1890 Atlanta by a girl who kind of has like an advice column and eventually like her opinion, she's sharing her opinions with everyone in this newspaper and her opinions can be unpopular sometimes and it's about like the controversy that it can strike and how she feels really scared and targeted uh, when someone I think finds her identity and she like they're using it to blackmail her and so she doesn't want that to happen. So it sounds really good. Um, it has decent reviews and I'm excited to read it. 
hopefully it'll be a quick read. Young adult typically is. Then we have a newer release, which is The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. This is their newest book, um, and it sounded like something that I would enjoy. I also had just finished the one, and this seems very similar to that, minus all of the thriller aspects, so hopefully it kind of gives me that fix because I did really enjoy that premise. Switching back to manga and graphic novels for a second, we have Watakoi Volume 2. This is the bind-up of the third and fourth volume, I believe. I do need to watch the anime before I read the manga because someone told me that I would enjoy the manga more if I did it that way, so I am planning on doing that soon, but I never see Volume 2 at the bookstore, so I wanted to pick it up when I did see it. Then we have one of my most recent five-star reads, which is The Girl from the Sea by Molly Knox Ostertag. Um, this is a sapphic romance graphic novel, kind of just about finding yourself, uh, but it also talks a little bit about the environment and caring for that, which I really liked. This was a five out of five stars for me. I loved the artwork in it, and I also loved the message and just the story overall. It's about this girl who is a selkie and then a human and they end up falling in love and it's super sweet. Then I picked up one of the most popular manga series I've ever seen and I fell in love with it and that is Full Metal Alchemist Volume 1. This is the Full Metal Edition. I love these editions. Something I will mention though that I didn't know, if your palms or hands get sweaty, be careful because this came off on my book and it's very sparkly and obnoxious and also it looks like my book is kind of ruined which I don't like um because I like to keep my books in as pristine condition as possible minus like annotations and stuff. So yeah just be careful if your hands get sweaty while you read maybe like hold a blanket or a towel in between the book and your palm because my hands do get sweaty. Clearly, I literally sweat off the metallic embossing on the spine. Then one of my most anticipated releases of the year, and rightfully so because this book was another five out of five stars for me, it was Heartstopper Volume 4 by Alice Oseman. I think this is the second to last book in the series. I have already read it. Like I said, it was five out of five stars. This was incredible. This is a graphic novel series about these two boys that kind of they are friends at first and then it becomes something more and volumes three and four definitely do have some more content warnings in them. Not to say that volumes one and two do not, but they definitely delve into more serious topics in the later volumes and I personally really appreciate that. I think that Alice Oseman does a great job of including those things without it seeming gratuitous or like she's doing it just to say that she like writes inclusively in any way, which again, I really appreciate. And I related a lot to that most recent one and it made me cry. So highly recommend. <laughs> then we're on the last four books. The first one being The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelitis. Again, I had to pick this up for a video that I am doing this month that I am very, very excited about. Yeah, this is another thriller. And then Rylan, who I've mentioned a couple times in this video, sent me a couple of books. So we have Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall. I've heard really good things about this. Uh, Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunsmore. Again, heard really good things about this. And Tools of Engagement by Tessa Bailey heard amazing things about this one. Um, I wanted to pick these up. She was giving them away for relatively cheap, so I wanted to pick them up, but also, like I said, I kind of want to build my romance collection so that I can read more of it, give you guys more recommendations. It's also just something that I enjoy, but yeah, those are all of the books in this haul. We're done. Uh, I know I went through them kind of quickly. I was trying to not make this video as long as the last haul that I did. I have decided it's going to be a separate haul in the course of this video, uh, and I might honestly post this one first. So if I end up doing that, just know that there is a, like, 40 minute haul coming. I have to haul like 50 books in that video. So yeah, that's it. No haul from me for a while. Better not be. If there is, yell at me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're doing well reading mentally and otherwise. Let me know what you're currently reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. I'm really, I really have slowed it down. I can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs>